the most famous people that now work normal jobs. The life of a celebrity is something everyone aspires to live, but few get the opportunity. Such a breathtaking life does bring with itself a lot of benefits – money, fame, networking and many others. But like all good things, such a life does not last long. Some celebrities have decided to leave behind their life of fame and luxury to live a normal life like a regular citizen, working the most monotonous of jobs. Though the spotlight can never be moved away from them, these celebrities have tried to live the generic life like most other people. Some become a lawyer and someone becomes a veterinarian. Some have even started their own shops from which they earn a modest revenue. We're not the one to judge if the sales are because of their skills or their fame. But we've brought to you this video to show you the most famous people who now work a normal life. So without any further delay, let's get started. Number 10. Mara Wilson Probably one of the most famous child artists of a generation, Mara Wilson is renowned for playing the central roles of Natalie Hillard in Miss Doubtfire and Matilda Wormwood in Matilda. Mara is now 34 years old, she took a 12-year-old hiatus from acting following her last role as Lily Stone in Thomas and the Magic Railroad, which was released in 2012. You might not be surprised to know the reason of this hiatus. She was an aspiring writer and penned books like Sheeple and Where Am I Now? True stories of girlhood and accidental fame. Wilson has avoided most acting roles, but she did lend her voice to a few episodes of the Netflix animated series Bojack Horseman in 2016. Today, she is still a writer and pursues her aspirations. Number 9. Kevin Jonas The brother of singers Nick Jonas and Joe Jonas, Kevin was also a songwriter and singer himself, and the three have performed together multiple times. Kevin's career breakthrough came back in 2007 when he and his brothers launched multiple albums, but on October 29, 2013, the Jonas Brothers officially announced that the band was breaking up because of creative differences. The event marked the starting of a hiatus in Kevin's singing and acting career. Jonas, the eldest, is now a contractor in New Jersey where he co-owns Jonas Werner Homes, a custom home-building company. He also has two daughters with his wife Danielle, whom he met during the height of his Joe Bros fame. Number 8. Angus T. Jones Widely renowned for his role in the CBS hit series Two and a Half Men alongside Charlie Sheen and John Cryer. Jones was praised for his amazing performance. He played the role of Jake Harper, the half-man of the title. For the majority of its run, the show was the most popular sitcom in the United States, with an average audience of around 15 million people. He is still involved in the entertainment industry, despite the fact that he is no longer acting. He recently formed Tonight, a multimedia and event company with Justin Combs, son of Sean Diddy Combs. Number 7. Jonathan Taylor Thomas the American actor and director is best known for his roles as Randy Taylor on Home Improvement and as young Simba in Disney's The Lion King (1994) and Pinocchio in New Line Cinema's The Adventures of Pinocchio (1996). He departed from Home Improvement back in 1999 and told People magazine the time was right for his departure, despite the series' popularity. Thomas explained, I'd been going non-stop since I was eight years old. I wanted to go to school, travel and take a break. He made a few cameos on Tim Allen's most recent show, Last Man Standing. But now he spends most of his time writing and directing. Number 6. Cameron Diaz Diaz rose to prominence in the 1990s after co-starring with Jim Carrey in 1944's The Mask and she went on to become one of the Hollywood's highest paid actresses in the 2000s. She last appeared in a film in the 2014 remake of Annie and she described herself as retired in a 2018 interview with Entertainment Weekly. Diaz married musician Benji Madden in 2014 and the couple welcomed their first child, Radix, in 2019. Diaz has written two health-related books and launched Aveline, an organic wine brand in 2020. Number 5. Jack Gleason Probably one of the most hated characters in all TV shows combined, 
King Joffrey had a scary end to his story. But in reality, the actor who plays the character, Jack Gleason, had a pleasant ending. After three years as the evil boy king, Gleason left acting to pursue an academic career at Trinity College in Dublin, where he studied philosophy and theology. Gleason took a break from acting after this role and has since appeared in independent theatre and the 2020 BBC miniseries Out of Her Mind. Number 4. Charlie Corsmo Charlie Corsmo, best known for his roles in Hook and as bullied teen turned cool kid William Lichter in Can't Hardly Wait, has had a successful post Hollywood career. Corsmo graduated from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in 2000 with a degree in physics. Corsmo has previously worked for the EPA and the Republican Party in the House of Representatives. In 2006, he earned his Juris Doctorate from Yale Law School. Charlie, now Charles, was hired as a law professor at Case Western Reserve University after passing the bar and working as a lawyer in New York City for several years. He was a member of Yale's Federalist Society, a group of conservative and libertarian lawyers and law students. In January 2006, he and other Yale law students signed an open letter to Pennsylvania Senator Arlen Specter in support of the Supreme Court nomination of Samuel Alito. Number 3. Phoebe Cates Phoebe Cates, whose performance in Fast Times at Ridgemont High influenced millions of people's sexual maturation, is now a small business owner. Blue Tree, a Manhattan boutique specializing in women's clothing and homewares, is owned by the former actress, who is married to Oscar winner Kevin Klein. The store was described by the New York Times as a version of Elizabeth Street for the Carnegie Hill crowd, a little oasis of downtown aesthetic at ladies who lunch prices, and that the celebrity boutique is a way for famous people to admit the civilian into their universe. It is a presentation of themselves, their likes and desires, their preferences, and does not require them to step in front of the camera. Number 2. Gene Hackman Hackman's illustrious acting career spanned decades with starring roles in films such as Unforgiven, for which he received an Oscar, Bonnie and Clyde, and Superman, to name a few. Hackman has won two Academy Awards, four Golden Globes, one Screen Actors Guild Award, and two BAFTAs in a career spanning more than six decades. But after a glorious time in the celebrity world, Gene Hackman has entirely switched his career from acting to writing novels. The 87-year-old Oscar winner is now in his second act as a novelist, but five well-received novels published by Simon and & Schuster and St. Martin's Press. A Sea Adventure set in the 19th century, Justice for None 2004 is about a murder during the Great Depression, An Escape from Anderson Will 2008 is about a prison escape during the American Civil War. Hackman has written three historical fiction novels with undersea archaeologist Daniel Lenahan. Payback at Morning Peak, a love and revenge story set in the Old West, was his first solo release. 2013 brought us Pursuit, a police thriller. Number 1. Shaquille O'Neal This might be one of the most shocking names in the list. Everyone's favorite basketball player, rapper, and sports analyst is now away from the basketball court. And if these are not enough, he has a rather amazing career outside of the ground as well. Shaq earned his MBA and doctorate in education after retiring from sports. He also served as an honorary deputy sheriff in Georgia, and his musical career was reignited with an ode to LaVar Ball that was released recently. As a response to Ball's claims that his son Lamello, along with Ball, would beat O'Neill and his sons, he released the Three Minutes Song. As a businessman and investor, O'Neill is very active. In the early 1990s, he was an active bond investor. But he continued to invest in stocks, including General Electric, Apple, and PepsiCo. For him, investing in stocks has worked best when he felt a personal connection to the company. With all these positions on his resume, which he surely doesn't need to show, Shark has established himself as an all-rounder, both on and off the field. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button below, followed by the subscribe button, 
Finally, the bell button next to you ensures that you never miss any of our content. You may also share our videos and come back to see what else we have to offer. See you in the next video.